Let's talk about question 21 now. A worker drops a wrench from the top of a tower 120 meters tall. Let's first write down what are the pieces of information that we know in this problem. So we know it drops it from the top of a tower. So we know x0 is 120.0 meters. What else do we know? He dropped it. So we know our v0 is 0 meters per second. Right? If it's dropped, it just simply means it's 0 meters per second. What else do we know? We know our gravity is causing our acceleration. And we're asked how long will it take for the wrench to fall to the ground? So that means xf is equal to zero meters. And we're asked to find what? We're asked to find what is our delta t. So let's go ahead and start look, thinking about this. What problem, what equation can we find that has a delta T in it, but also has some of those other variables that I've listed on the board? And if you look through your, your formula sheet, you're going to see there's one. I think it's in the bottom left of our formula sheet. XF equals X0 plus V0 T plus one half a t squared. So let's go ahead and plug in our, our values for these. And then we'll solve it for our answer. XF, what do we know about XF? That's zero. X zero we saw was 120. V zero, zero, that's nice. So this middle term drops out. What's our... Uh, then what's our next term here? One half a, our a is negative 10, so one half of a is negative five, and we have a t squared. So we can just rewrite this, let's solve it for our t, right? We end up here with five t squared equals 120. Divide both sides by five, t squared equals, um, t squared equals uh, 24. T squared is equal to 24. So when we take our square root, T equals square root of 24. And what is that? Square root of 24 is 4.9 seconds, right? We're talking about time, so our unit, our answer here is in seconds. What's the wrench's velocity when it hits the ground? Well, there's a couple different ways we can do this. Let's again look at our variables. We now know that our time here is 4.9 seconds. This time we're being asked for what is VF? What is VF? So looking at our variables, do we have an equation that has a VF and then some of those others in there? And that's all that it has in the problem. And there is. We have an equation that says VF equals V0 plus a t. So let's plug our numbers in here. What do we have for our v0? Our v0 was 0. Our a we know is, is uh, negative 10. What's our t? We just figured that out. 4.9. So our final velocity here is negative 49 meters per second.